Okay, let's have fun with this problem. And I'm saying about 10% of you out there can actually solve this in uh, five minutes or less. And this uh, type of problem uh, would be appropriate at the algebra or maybe high school algebra, high school geometry uh, level. So if you haven't taken um, those courses yet and you can't solve this, well, then don't feel so bad. But if uh, you're certainly at that level or have already taken those courses, you should be able to handle this problem. Now, uh, there's a couple of things going on here. And actually, let me just go ahead and describe the problem, and then you can kind of see if you can solve it. Now, I'm going to keep this very vague here because I don't want to give away uh, too many specifics because I want you to see if you can solve this. So we have some sort of figure here. kind of looks like a can, like a soup can or something or the other. So that's kind of a good hint. So we have some sort of figure, and I'm saying the volume of this particular, uh, this particular figure is 200 centimeters cubed. And right over here on top, we obviously got some sort of circle going on here that the circumference, the circumference of, of uh, right over here, as I'm describing it, is 8 pi centimeters. So we have two pieces of uh, information. The circumference is 8 pi centimeters and the volume is 200 centimeters cubed. What is the height of this figure? Okay, now you're going to need some formulas uh, to solve this problem, and hopefully you recognize what type of figure this is. I'll give you a hint. It starts with a C. Okay, now you're going to have to go ahead and remember those formulas, and this is kind of a challenge I have to you. There's a lot of formulas that we learn in math and geometry. Um, that's why we need to take notes, because you can't remember all these things. But, uh, but this particular basic figures in geometry, you should remember some of this in kind of in your long-term memory. So hopefully um, a lot of you out there will remember the formula or formulas that you need to solve this problem. But I'm going to go ahead and give you a hint and then I'm going to obviously solve the problem. But go ahead and challenge yourself and if you want to put your answer, um, again, I'm looking for the height of this figure. If you want to put your answer, now be very, very careful how you express your answer. I'll talk about what I mean by that later. But um, Go ahead and put your answer in the comment section if you think you could solve this. Now, uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, very quickly, I have about 100 plus different uh, math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything else in between. So if you need help in passing and excelling in your uh, current math course. So if, again, if you're at the middle school, high school, or even the college level, I can help you uh, with your respective math course. If you're taking any exam that has math on it, for example, the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplacer, ALEX exam, CLEP exam, teacher certification exam, I can go on and on and on. You get the idea. All these exams have a math section on it. I can help you prepare and pass those uh, tests. If you homeschool, I have a very comprehensive homeschool math curriculum. And uh, if you don't have any math notes, well, you need to start taking outstanding math notes immediately. But you can use my math notes. I'm going to leave a link to all my math notes in the description of this video. But uh, I've been teaching math for decades. This is truly one of the secrets there uh, for students who do well in math. They always take great math notes. So um, let's get into this problem. Again, I'm going to give you a hint right now. Okay, so if you're like, all right, I don't remember the formulas, well, I'm going to go ahead and show them to you. So if you don't want to see them, pause the video. But here we go. Here are the formulas you will need to solve this problem. Okay, you're going to need this and you're going to need this. So if you're like, oh, okay, now I remember, uh, you know, these make sense to you, go ahead and pause the video and continue on with your work. So here's the formulas. You want to uh, write those down. And here is the information to the problem. There you go. All right. So what are we talking about here? Let's go ahead and uh, take this a step uh, further. What type of shape are we dealing with? Well, this is a cylinder, a cylinder. This is what this is. It is a cylinder. Uh, again, you know, think of it like in your pantry, like a soup can or something like that. That's effectively what a cylinder is. Okay. So we're talking about the volume of a cylinder is 200 centimeters cubed and uh, the circumference, which is the distance around like so is eight pi centimeters. Now we want to find the height of this uh, particular um, cylinder. Okay. So we have enough information to do it and we're going to need uh, these two uh, formulas. This is the formula for the circumference 
of a circle, and this is the formula for the volume of a cylinder. So let's go ahead and get into it further. All right, so here's kind of the general situation, right? So here is a cylinder, and um, I have the volume. Okay, the volume is equal to pi r squared. r is the radius times the height. So here it would be the radius uh, of a particular cylinder. The volume is how much uh, stuff we can put in, like how much water, how much you can fill up uh, the, this entire cylinder. And then here would be the height. So in this particular problem, okay, we're trying to determine the height of the cylinder. So we're given the volume. Okay, we know the volume. And we're going to need the radius. Okay, this is what we're going to need right here. But we can determine the radius uh, if we know the circumference, okay, and we do know the circumference. So let's go back up here again. All right, so we're given that the circumference of the circle is 8 pi centimeters. So I can uh, use this formula to determine what the radius is. And then once I have the radius, I can use this information. Okay, again, I have the volume. I just need the radius and I can get my H. All right, so I basically told you how to solve the problem. There's a, set, uh, the, there's a setup. So now if you want to go ahead and quickly do the problem. Again, you know, I know I've been talking probably about for, for five minutes, but I'm trying to, you know, get you to um, really think about how to do these type of problems and encourage you to remember some formulas. Because on a lot of tests, especially standardized tests, sometimes you're given a formula sheet. Okay, like the area of a triangle is one half base times height. They're most A lot of tests are pretty generous with what formula formulas they give out, but sometimes you are not given these formulas. And I would encourage you to remember some of these uh, formulas for these basic figures. I'm talking about area, surface area, and volume uh, formulas. But let's go ahead now and get in to the exciting part, which is using algebra. Um, so let's first get that radius, okay? So we can't do anything here until we determine what the radius is. Again, the circumference of this cylinder right up here on top is uh, 8 uh, pi centimeters. So I can use this uh, um, formula right here for the circumference of a circle. Okay, of course, this is a circle down here, and it's the same for a cylinder. It's basically two circles, and you connect it like so. So that's uh, this circumference is the same as this circumference. So you don't have to think about, oh, it's just only the top. No, it's the top and bottom um, are basically form this cylinder. Okay, so the circumference, I was told, is 8 uh, centimeters. So I'm going to plug that in where the C is at. Okay, so the circumference is eight, uh, 8 pi, I'm sorry, 8 pi centimeters. So that's what the circumference is. And th the formula for the circumference of a circle is C is equal to 2 pi r. Okay, again, I'm trying to determine what the radius is. And pi is just a number, right? 3.14 approximately. So it's 2 pi. Always leave... Um, your answer, don't do anything with this pi. In other words, don't turn this into a decimal uh, when you're doing these problems, okay? You can at the end, but not when you're kind of solving. Work with pi until the very, very end of your problem, okay? Now, I'll talk about uh, this more in a second, but here I can solve for r by simply dividing both sides of the formula by, I'm sorry, the equation here by 2 pi. So the radius is going to be equal to 8 pi divided by 2 pi, and that is going to be 4. Okay, now remember, we are dealing with centimeters, so um, our radius is going to be 4 centimeters. Okay, so now we've got our radius. We know our volume, all right? And this is going to be enough information now to get the height. So let's go ahead and continue on. All right, so here's effectively what we got now. Kind of laid it all out for us. So we have the radius now. It's 4 centimeters. Here is the formula. Uh, for the volume of a cylinder, we know the volume of this respective cylinder is 200 centimeters uh, cubed, and we want to know the height. All right, so here in our formula, what you want to do, the easiest way to uh, do this, uh, now you could just plug everything in and then solve for H, or you could just solve for H right now in this formula. So let's just rewrite this formula in terms of H. So to do that, I need to divide both sides of the equation by pi r squared. Okay, so the height, it will be equal to the volume over pi r squared. If you don't understand this, well, you need to review kind of how to uh, solve for a particular uh, variable uh, when you're dealing with formulas. I have a uh, many videos on this in my 
um, algebra playlist on my YouTube channel. Of course, if you, want, if you really want to truly master all this stuff, you might want to check out one of my courses, um, a course like algebra or geometry would be uh, the appropriate courses for uh, this topic. All right, so here, I just rewrote this uh, formula. Volume is equal to pi r squared, or pi r squared times h. Okay, I just rewrote it in terms of h. In other words, I just solved for h, because that's what I'm looking for. So h is equal to volume uh, divided by pi r squared. Again, I have the volume, okay, and I have the radius. So all we got to do now is just plug things in and go from there. All right, so here um, um, our volume is 200 centimeters cubed, but we'll just uh, disregard the units of measure for now. So it's going to be 200 uh, over pi. The radius, again, is 4. Okay, so it's going to be 4 squared. All right, so you can kind of see that math. So we have 200, and then we have pi times 4 squared is 16. 16 times pi. So you could leave your answer like this, but I think this is a, a good um, uh a point right here to talk about units of measure. This is an exact answer, but we don't really have a good feel for this actual value. So go and use your calculator, 200 divided by 16 times pi. You should be able to pull a pi on your calculator. You could always use an approximation of 3.14, but our answer, notice my the symbol here I'm using. I'm not using that uh, it's uh, equal to 3.98 centimeters, and you gotta be very mindful. Okay, the height, just don't put 3.98. It's you got to have the units of measure. So if you don't put your units of measure, your student, your teacher is going to be taking points off and stuff like that. So make sure you put in the units of measure. But notice here, I'm not saying that the height is totally equal to this number. We're using this little squiggly, uh, those two little squiggly things. That means approximately. Okay. So all these details count. These are not just little trivial details. So approximately 3.98 centimeters. So that is the answer. So if you got this right. And if, even if you took longer than five minutes, I still must reward you with an awesome uh, smiley face with a good old 1983 Mohawk, an A plus, any 100% nice job. Okay, so very, very good. And, and it, that's just if you got the problem right. But if you got this uh, correct without, and you already knew the formulas and you did it underneath five minutes, then I must give you like five special stars. Matter of fact, if you were in my math class, I'd just say, take the rest of the year off. I don't know what you're doing, but you are acing this math course. You might be watching that guy on YouTube. I'm not sure what's going on, but that was pretty awesome. Pretty impressive stuff. Okay, so if this video helped you out in some small, tiny way, please consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll uh, consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic to advanced mathematics. My goal is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. So if you like my teaching style, I have a ton of content on my channel. And of course, I'll always uh, I post um, videos every week. Okay, so I try to spread it out, algebra, geometry, pre-calculus, calculus, basic math. Uh, there's just so much uh, uh, math to do. I'll never run out of math problems, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.